In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Join Apostle John Udo today as he teaches the Word that was with God and is now with us for our transformation. Apostle John Udo, worth hearing. Fire. Warfare by fire. God has different weapons of warfare and he has made these weapons available for us his children to be able to use to engage as we please the bible is replete with different kinds of weapon the name of jesus for example is a weapon the blood of Jesus is a powerful weapon we can use. The fire of God is a powerful weapon. Alongside with so many other weapons of war in the Bible. Some of them are more well known to believers. But there are some that are hidden in scriptures that the average believer does not know. But the avid reader and the one that has been led by the Holy Spirit can find amazing little known weapons of warfare in the Bible that can be engaged to prevail against the forces of darkness. And you would do yourself a whole lot of good to find as many weapons as possible because uh, each weapon has their own capacity, range of operation, and all of that. And so, today we're going to be praying with the weapon of fire. And uh, the fire of God is one of the most destructive weapons that can be engaged against the enemy. The fire of God is engaged when we need to bring an utter end to the work of the enemies against our lives the fire of god is needed when you are dealing with a stubborn pursuer an enemy that has sworn that he will not let go until he destroys you an enemy that has determined that unless he dies before you can be free the fire of god is engaged when we want to cover a widespread area you want to go beyond the immediate environment to touch distant areas. The fire of God is one good one to engage. The fire of God is good to be engaged when you are really, really out for judgment. As we see from scriptures, when God is really out for judgment, guess what he sends? He sends his fire. And so, if you are out for judgment against your adversaries, judgment against the powers that are contending with you, I'll advise you to engage the weapon of the fire of God. And so today, we're going to be praying with the fire of God. And I'm going to be telling us, we're going to be praying with different kinds of fire as um, found in the Bible. Because there are actually different kinds of fire that we can engage to gain the victory that we desire to gain. So the first kind of fire we'll be praying with today is the fire that is called the fire from above. The fire from above. And in this instance, we are going to be engaging this uh, fire from above specifically against enemies who want to arrest you by force by all means enemies who are out to just get you and deal with you perhaps they have gotten you already and they already are messing up your life so we are going to be engaging the fire from above we find this fire in the book of genesis chapter 19 genesis chapter 19 verse 24 the bible says I'll wait for you to turn to Genesis chapter 19. Verse 24. Are you there? 
The background of the story is that of Lot in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah and uh, he had angels coming to visit him and uh, the wicked men of the land decided to come have canal affairs with the angels. They came to um, request from Lot to bring out the men so that they can uh, um, perform their perversions with the man and uh, Saul a lot rather pleaded with them again and again he even offered his daughters to them but they refused they said no we, we don't do the right thing we do the wrong things just like you have in the western world today uh, where they engage in um, of course it's filtering into Africa uh, the homosexuals and the all manner of crazy things that are not normal for humans to do. So these were some of the things that they wanted to do with these angels. And uh, uh, Saul ple Lord pleaded, pleaded with them not to, but they insisted and they wanted to force themselves into the house to do whatever they wanted to do. Uh, but um, the angels intervened and uh, and uh, took a lot and uh, his wife and children out of the town and then guess what God reigned on the city of Gomorrah God reigned brimstone and fire on the city of Gomorrah because they were wicked men and one of the reasons among several others that God rained this fire upon them was because they were determined to come after those men the angels they were determined to go after Lord to deal with him so the Bible says in verse 24 I don't have the liberty of time to read through the whole of the chapter but verse 24 says then the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven fire from where fire from the Lord out of heaven praise the name of the Lord we have another example so that when we begin to pray we can pray with understanding we have another example in the book of second Kings chapter 1 verse 10 Elijah in this instance answered and said unto the captain of 50 second Kings chapter 1 verse 10 Elijah answered and said unto the captain of 50 if I be a servant of God let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your 50 and what happened fire came down from heaven and consumed him and his 50 and then the king sent another round of 50 and elijah repeated the same thing and the fire of god descended from heaven and he sent the third one also and the last one of them was smart enough to come plead with Elijah and to say to Elijah, please, I didn't send myself. Is that wicked king that sent me and I couldn't tell him that I will not go. So please, I know you are good at calling fire. Don't call the fire. It's not my fault. I'm just obeying my, my boss. And so he pleaded with Elijah. And because he pleaded, Elijah did not call down fire to consume him. And his 50. So as you rise upon your feet this evening, the prayer you are going to be praying is for the fire of God from heaven to descend upon those who are out to take you by force, those who are out to steal your children from you, those who are out to take your wealth, your riches, your honor, your ministry, your destiny. They are, they are determined, they are sworn that they must take that thing from you. Well, the only way we are going to stop them is that we are going to stop them by releasing fire from heaven.
to consume them i want you to rise upon your feet this evening oh thank you my father lord we bless you for the grace to call for the fire of god and for the fire of god to respond and consume the enemies glory be to god thank you my father because you have done it in the name of the lord jesus christ in jesus name we pray i want you to say it after me my father in heaven I come in the name of Jesus. I come in the name of Jesus. And I pray to you. And I pray to you. That you will send down fire from heaven. That you will send down fire from heaven. To consume every stubborn pursuer. To consume every stubborn pursuer. To consume every wicked man and woman. To consume every wicked man and woman. You are determined to deal with me. You are determined to deal with me. You are determined determined to take anything from me. We are determined to take anything from fire from heaven. Fire from heaven. Consume them. Open your mouth and pray that way. to understand that the, this weapon we are engaging is a dangerous weapon it's a weapon that can manifest in the spirit realm and manifest in the physical realm i was praying for a woman who married into a family that was full of witches her husband's people were witches and wizards in fact specifically the husband's mother was a high level witch and uh, this her mother-in-law was determined to deal with her 
made sure she could not get pregnant any pregnancy was swallowed up strange evil thing against her family and the mother-in-law was not hiding it the mother-in-law made her to know that you you came into this family i will show you pepper so this was not a secret witch this was a witch that was openly letting her know i am responsible and i will always be responsible and there is nothing you can do about it ah but listen to me there is something you can do about it you can engage the power of the fire of god against those wicked men and women who keep stealing from you who are out to take your life who keep robbing you of your blessings today they will encounter the fire of your god yes sir and so this woman began to pray dangerous prayers against the wicked powers that were dealing with her and one night after praying she had a dream and these witches came to attack her in the dream and in that dream while they were attacking her she called for the fire of god and the fire of god began to burn them and they were screaming and running away and guess what happened when she woke up in the morning information came from the village that they don't know what happened to mama they woke up hearing mama screaming and when they went to check her there were fire bones all over mama her skin was peeling because fire had burnt her the fire that burnt in the spirit realm overflowed into the physical realm and consumed the wicked witch that was responsible for the attacks in the life of this woman i want you to pray again this evening i want you to say after me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh you wicked witch and wizard oh you wicked witch and wizard oh you wicked occultic men and women oh you wicked occultic men and women after my life and my family after my life and my family i command the fire of god i command the power of god to descend from heaven upon you to descend from heaven upon you open your mouth and pray this prayer First King, Second Kings, chapter one, verse nine. Then the king sent unto him a captain of fifty with his fifty, and he went up to him, and behold, he sat on the top of an hill, and he spake unto him, Thou man of God, the king has said, Come down. Tell them I'm not coming down. I'm not coming down. You're going to be praying against everyone that is determined to bring you down. Yes, sir. You 
you know how much it took you to get to the level where you are and somebody is telling you to come down you know how you prayed to be able to get a husband to marry and then somebody wants to take away your husband and make you come down and become a widow you know how you prayed before you got your children and somebody wants to make you come down and lose your children I want you to say I am not coming down I'm not coming down you know how much you labor to reach the level of prosperity you have reached the level of progress you have reached and one devil is telling you to come down I declare you will not come down yes sir you are going to be praying against every wicked man every wicked woman every wicked power that is commanding you to come down you are going to answer them with the fire of God I want you to say after me in the name of Jesus the name of Jesus oh you wicked men and women oh you wicked men and women oh you wicked powers oh you wicked powers commanding me to come down commanding me to come down I command fire to come down I command fire to come down and consume you consume you open your mouth and pray that prayer I come out of Amen. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. That anyone that is determined to bring you down in any area of life, the fire of God come down and consume them. Amen. Wherever they might be, wherever in the world they might be operating from, uh, the fire of God from heaven descend and consume them all. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The second fire you are going to be engaging is the one that I call the running fire. The running fire. The fire that pursues. Now this kind of fire is engaged when you are is to be engaged when you are dealing with an enemy that is good at escaping from judgment. You have been praying and praying and praying but somehow the man keeps escaping. The woman keeps escaping. It's as if your prayers are being wasted. Those kind of people what you do is to release against them the running fire so that wherever they run to the fire will follow them there. Yes, wherever they escape to the fire will pursue them there. Yes, sir. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 9 verse 23 and Moses stretched forth his rod toward heaven and the Lord sent thunder and hail and 
the fire ran along upon the ground what did the fire do the fire ran along upon the ground and the lord rained hail upon the land of Egypt. Right now we are going to be praying and calling for the running fire to pursue the running enemies. I want you to say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh you running fire of God. Oh you running fire of God. Pursue all my enemies. Pursue all my enemies. Every one of them trying to escape. Every one of them trying to escape. Catch up with them. Catch up with them. Consume them. We pray. Amen. There are several wicked people in your family background that have, a, have been escaping all the prayers that family members have been praying. They refuse to die. They would rather use the life of one other younger person to substitute their life and they continue to live and continue to do evil. This time around, they will not escape. You know the Bible says in First Kings chapter 19, it says in verse 17, it says, He that escapes the sword of Hazel, Jehu shall slay. He that escapes that of Jehu, Elisha shall slay. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Man. So they have been escaping others, but this running fire, they will not escape it. Amen. You are going to repeat that prayer again. And I want you to have it in mind that all those enemies that have been escaping all the prayers you have been praying, this time around, they are not going to escape. Wherever they might be, whether in the city, in the field, whether dead or alive, all the wicked things they have done against you that have been escaping all the prayers you have been praying, as you release this running fire now, it will enter the ground. Have you ever seen water? Uh, fire running on water before even water cannot escape from fire i've seen where fire is burning on top of water before so the fire will go to the waters it will go under the earth it will go to the forest it will burn in the atmosphere in the heavens wherever they are whatever they have done against you this running fire will locate them amen i want you to say oh running fire of god Fire of God. Locate all my enemies. Locate all my enemies. Locate every wicked walk against me. Locate every wicked walk against me. Destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire. Open your mouth and pray. <laughs> Ha 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 
Amen. The next fire we are going to be praying with is the one that I call the fire that troubles your enemy. The fire that troubles your enemies. Exodus chapter 14 from verse 24 to 25. It says, and it came to pass that in the morning watch, the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the hosts of the Egyptians and took up their chariot wheels that they drove them heavily so that the Egyptians said let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fighted for them against the Egyptians hallelujah the Lord looked out from a particular kind of fire called the pillar of fire so this is the pillar of fire from where the Lord looks out to trouble your enemies and the Bible says when he looked out from that pillar of fire he troubled the host of the Egyptians and everything became a confusion for the enemies the wheels of their chariots began to pull out they began to collide upon one another until they were totally destroyed I want you to say after me in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you pillar of troubling fire. Oh, you pillar of troubling fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Trouble my enemies. Trouble my enemies. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, my God. 
We pray. Amen. I want you to say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, look through the pillar of fire. Look through the pillar of fire. Oh Lord, oh Lord, look through the pillar of fire. Look through the pillar of fire. And trouble my trouble. Trouble my trouble. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh Lord, look through the pillar of fire. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 24 For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire yes. Even a jealous God The next fire we are going to be playing with is the consuming fire You see this particular kind of fire You engage it when you want to totally wipe out the enemy you want to so eliminate them that there will be no trace of them remaining no trace of their evil work remaining when you want to do that the fire to engage is the consuming fire the bible says for the lord thy god is a consuming fire i want you to say after me oh consuming fire oh consuming fire consume the wickedness of the wicked consume the wickedness of the wicked and consume all the wicked and consume all the wicked against my life and family Set the 
Jesus, name we pray. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 22. For a fire is kindled in mine anger, and it shall burn unto the lowest hell, and shall consume the earth with her increase, and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. The next fire we're going to be praying with is the fire that consumes the foundation of mountains. You know what mountains represent? The Bible says in Zechariah chapter 3, Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Zechariah chapter 3 verse 7, Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt be made plain. How is it going to be made plain? The fire that consumes the foundation of the mountain is going to consume that mountain from the roots and the mountain will be made plain. All those troubles in your lives are mountains. All those powers in the, against your life are mountains. Today we are going to be releasing the fire to their foundation and all those foundations are going to be consumed and the mountains will be leveled in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen I want you to say after me in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh you fire oh you fire that consumes the foundations of the mountains that consumes the foundations of the mountains what are you waiting for what are you waiting for consume them now Yes, begin to pray. Every mountain, mountain that has refused to Every mountain that has refused to go right now, let the fire go consume you from the foundation. Let the fire go consume you from the foundation. Let the fire go consume you from the foundation. to say oh you mountain oh you mountain standing against my career standing against my career standing against my progress standing against my progress standing against my blessings standing against my blessings standing against my family standing against my family let the fire that consumes foundation let the fire that consumes foundation consume you now Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
We pray. Amen. Two more fires. I need to stop. There are several others, but two more fires. I hope you don't mind. Yes, sir. Two more fires. We're going to release against the enemy, and then we will pray about another kind of fire. I think just one or two, and then we will stop. Glory be to God. The next prayer we're going to be praying with, the next fire we're going to be praying with is the one I call the unquenchable fire. When this one begins to burn, it is going to burn and keep burning. It will burn the current enemies. It will burn the future enemies. It is a fire that when ignited, it remains perpetually in action. Yes, sir. So that any enemy that appears at any time, there is a fire on ground to consume them. Yes, sir. I remember one time a witch decided to come to my house to attack me it was a christmas day and uh this which this which was later confessing in the in the course of prayers and deliverance uh, and she said she came to my house on christmas day you can imagine the day she chose to come to my house uh, when i would be eating chicken with my right hand and talking with my left hand uh, so she thought i would be too busy with chicken uh, to be able to know that the enemies uh, were around uh, so she said she, be, she came in the form of a python and she climbed the fence of my residence and when she climbed and lifted her head above the fence fire came from inside the compound and she fell back she climbed the second time and fire came from inside the compound she climbed the third time and fire came from inside the compound that was a fire that was burning perpetually it doesn't matter what whether they come in the morning, in the noon, in the night, uh, there is a fire to roast them like Sia. I want you to say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, unquenchable fire, unquenchable fire, consume my adversary, consume my adversary,
Jesus name we pray. Amen. You find that in Matthew chapter 3, verse 12. He says, Whose fan is in his hand? Matthew chapter 3, verse 12. And he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the gunner. But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. You are going to be praying against every chaff in your life. Chaffs are things that do not profit in your life. They are only there wasting your time. They are only there occupying space. They are only there causing problems for you. You are going to be commanding the unquenchable fire to consume every chaff out of your life, out of your ministry. A chaff can be an addiction, a bad habit. A chaff can be a person. A chaff can be a human being. A chaff can be a spirit. Anything that does not belong in your life, the unquenchable fire is going to consume them right now. Amen. I want you to say, Oh, unquenchable fire! Oh, unquenchable fire! Consume every chaff out of my life! Consume every chaff out of my life! Open your mouth and pray! Jesus name we pray. Amen. The final fire you are going to engage against your enemy is the one I call flaming fire of vengeance. Flaming fire of vengeance. Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 8. In a flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah in a flaming fire taking vengeance hallelujah the Bible says in Romans chapter 12 verse 19 dearly beloved avenge not yourselves but rather give place unto wrath for it is written vengeance is mine i will repay saith the lord we are going to be calling on the god of vengeance to take vengeance for us against all those who have been dealing with us in evil ways those that have prevented you from conceiving your children those that have been causing the miscarriage those that have been preventing you from getting married 
those that have been messing up your financial life those that have made sure that your mates have left you behind and gone ahead of you those that have made sure that your spiritual life is epileptic anyone at all whether spirits humans or whatever powers they might be we are going to be calling for the flaming fire of vengeance to locate them and take vengeance upon them i want you to say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh you flaming fire of vengeance oh you flaming fire of vengeance locate every wicked man and woman against my life locate every wicked man and woman against my life take vengeance upon them Vengeance upon them. Open your mouth and pray. Amen. Finally, before I release God's special fire on your behalf, you are going to pray against any fire that the enemy has set against you. Because the enemies have their own fire also that they set against people. We are going to neutralize them. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 16. Therefore shall the Lord, the Lord of hosts, send among his fat ones, leanness, and under his glory he shall kindle a burning like the burning of a fire. So there is a kind of fire that can cause leanness where there was fatness. The Bible says in this case the Lord of hosts is going to send among the fat ones leanness. And how is that going to be accomplished? It's going to be accomplished by putting fire under the glory of the fat ones. So the fire begins to consume their fatness away. And you see a family that was once upon a time rich. Today they are struggling, they are poor. Because a fire was set under their riches. The glory of their riches. And it was consuming until there is no evidence. Those are the people they call rich man before before. Because you can still smell it around him. But you can't see evidence. You are going to be praying against any fire that has been set under your glory to consume your fatness to reduce your ability to reduce your height in life you are going to be commanding the fire to go off i want you to say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh you wicked fire oh you wicked fire set under my glory set under my glory to consume my fatness to consume my fatness i quench you in the name of jesus i quench you in the name of jesus your mouth and pray <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna take a little bit of 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 a little bit
Every fire of the enemy set against my glory, set against my ministry, set against my finances, set against my destiny. I quit you in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I point every fire that has been set against my destiny. Every fire set against my family. I point you. We pray. Amen. Lift up your hands as I pray for you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that every fire that has been set against your family they are quenched right now. Amen. Every fire that was set to cause crisis in your family husband and wife must always quarrel. It is because somebody is talking the fire, stoking the fire, causing problems here and there. Children are fighting against father, against mother. Mother is fighting against father. No peace in the family. Brother fighting against brother. Crisis everywhere. I quench that fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every fire that has been set against you in your office, there is always one trouble or the other. It's either they accuse you of this or they say that something must always come up against you in your office. Somebody must hate you. Somebody must do something against you. I quench that fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every fire of false allegations, false accusations, people will just accuse you. People will just say you did something that you did not do. I pray for you. That fire of false allegation is quenched in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every fire that has been set to swallow up your finances you walk like an elephant but you eat like an ant in the name of jesus i quench that fire every fire that has been set against your spiritual life you go up spiritually after a while you see yourself coming down until you hit the ground floor it is a wicked fire that makes you to waste your spiritual life i quench that fire in the name of jesus Amen. Your spiritual life from today forward will go from glory to glory. Amen. Now, every fire that has been set against your health to make sure you always have one sickness or the other to deal with. In the name of Jesus, I quench the fire of those sicknesses. Amen. And I declare that you are healed by the stripes of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands and I'll pray for you. According to Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5. For I see the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about. And I will be the glory in the midst of her. So I declare according to Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5 that the Lord is a wall of fire round about you. Amen. 
the Lord is a wall of fire round about your family. Amen. The Lord is a glory in the midst of your family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When the enemy tries to attack your family, they will meet with the fire of God. Amen. Any area of your life that the enemy tries to attack, they will meet with the fire of God. Amen. This same prayer goes for everyone watching me online from all over the world. This wall of fire is around you and everything that belongs to you. Amen. The glory of God is in the midst of you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Those of you watching from online, I am announcing to you that this fire you have contacted through these prayers will work for you exceedingly. Now I'm going to be praying for the sick right now. Those of you here, those of you watching from all over the world, whatever the sickness might be, God is going to be taking away every kind of sickness from you right now. But before I pray for the sick, I want us to take our offerings, our sacrifices, our tithes. The account number will be displayed for those of you watching from all over the world. So you can send in your offerings. I declare in the name of Jesus, harvest of the seed you are sowing. Let it flow to you abundantly and exceedingly. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for harvest of good things. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, if you have any kind of sickness in the body, I want you to just raise your hand wherever you are. If you are watching me online, I'm going to stretch my hand into the camera, before the camera, and you're just going to touch my hand. And the fire of God that brings healing is going to flow from my hands to you. And you're going to be healed of every kind of disease every kind of sickness no matter the name of the sickness you're going to be healed and the fire of god is going to enter that your hand and anywhere you go and lay that hand upon the sick the sick is going to be healed also in the name of the lord jesus christ so i pray in the name of the lord jesus let the fire of god that heals the sick flow to every sick person under the sound of my voice right now let the fire of god consume every sickness let the fire of god consume every disease let the fire of god consume every pain in the body let the fire of god consume every destruction in your body everything that has defied medical solution let the fire of god be the solution right now internal diseases external diseases fibroid cyst hiv aids blindness of the eyes deafness of the ears arthritis in the legs reflux in the stomach every kind of disease infection you are consumed by the fire of god right now in the name of the lord jesus pile hemorrhage pains in the body in the back in the legs bleeding in the body any kind of swelling in the body the fire of god consume you right now in the name of jesus paralysis i command you to seize in the name of jesus malaria typhoid and every other kind of disease under the heavens in the name of jesus i terminate you right now by the fire of god 
thank you father because you have healed your people in the name of jesus christ come on celebrate jesus celebrate jesus put your hands together for jesus hallelujah can we just clap and celebrate jesus hallelujah we give you the glory we give you the praise because you are the god that answers prayer you have been blessed by this ministration follow apostle john udo on facebook at apostle john udo to follow on youtube type john udo ministries if you need prayer counseling deliverance or follow-up call plus two three four eight zero six zero three six one four two one plus two three four eight zero six zero three six one four two one and remember all things are possible